Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to interface ultrasonic sensor with the Arduino board. So let us discuss about its outline. Here is the today's session's outline. First, we are going to discuss on components which are going to be used in this project. Then after, we will discuss about how ultrasonic sensor works. Then system layout, program and finally, we are moving to actual representation in Proteus software. So let us start with component. Here we can see this is the Arduino Uno R3 pin diagram. So first we are going to use Arduino board which is basically heart of this project. Here we can see USB plug, external power supply. So you need to give external power supply to energize this 8 mega 328 microcontroller board. Upper side you can see digital pins, below level analog pins and behind this and near this analog pin there are few pins like ground pins, 5 voltage power pin, 3.3 power pin. So basically this is Arduino Uno R3 pin diagram. So in today's session we are going to discuss about ultrasonic sensor. So here you can see this is ultrasonic sensor. Now here one circle this one is transmitter and second one is receiver. So as per its name you can understand ultrasonic sensor that means it sends ultrasonic sound from this transmitter and it will be reflected back to the particular object or obstacle it will be received at this receiver. Here there are four pins VCC, input, output and GND. So basically we are going to apply power supply at VCC, input, output and this is ground terminal. So next let us discuss about how ultrasonic sensor works. So you can see here there are two circles. First one is transmitter and second one is receiver. So basically we are going to use transducer in this sensor which acts as a microphone to receive and send the ultrasonic wave. So basically this is electronic instrument. So current can flow from here to here. Thereafter here in this circle there is a transducer which is going to convert your electrical signal into the sound wave. So through this transmitter it will be transmitted and reflected back to this object. Your sound wave is going to be released from the transmitter and it will be back to receiver like this. Here it is transmitted and it will be reflected back to the receiver like this manner. So the sensor determines the distance to a target by measuring time lapses between the sending and receiving of the ultrasonic pulse. So by calculating the time lapses between the transmission and reception, finally you can conclude the object distance. So here we are going to discuss about system layout. In system layout, first we are going to use ultrasonic sensor as an input. So basically your input will be ultrasonic sensor. So we need to interface with this Arduino board here. And in this project, we are going to use virtual terminal. Now what is virtual terminal? Virtual terminal is a tool in Arduino. It view the data coming from the serial port and to send the data to the serial port. So here it will be receive the data and send the data. That's why here you can see arrow like this. It will be receive the data or send that data to, to the serial port. That's why we are using here virtual terminal. So here you can see this is the program for ultrasonic sensor. First we are going to use 
integer ecopin is equal to 2 ecopin of ultrasonic sensor then integer pin pin is equal to 3 trigger pin of ultrasonic sensor which are which is going to trigger that ultrasonic sensor now we are using here void setup serial dot begin 96000 it is using for the data communication or serial communication at 96000 bps pin mode we just have to define pin mode pin pin that is your output here you can see it is on pin number 3 here it is pin mode echo pin that is basically your input so we just have to define this pin as an input then after we are using here void loop long duration inches and centimeter digital write pin pin low delay microseconds 2 so here we have to use digital write pin pin now again digital write pin pin high microseconds 10 delay write pin pin low now duration pulse in echo pin high because we just have to pulse in function to determine total time that's why we are using this function pulse in inches is equal to microseconds to inches duration and centimeter is equal to microseconds to centimeters duration similarly here you can see serial dot print in inches serial dot print in serial dot print in centimeter in stands for it is the short form of inches serial dot print in centimeter serial dot print ln then delay 100 after that we are going to use long microsecond to inches My, so we need to convert microsecond to inches that's why we are using this function long microseconds to inches then return to microseconds 74 by 2 again we are going to use long microseconds to centimeters long microseconds because we need to convert this microsecond to centimeters return again microseconds 29 so here you can see this is basically ultrasonic project with this Arduino board in which we are going to use here ultrasonic sensor so here you can see this is ultrasonic sensor this is Arduino board and this is your virtual terminal so basically virtual terminal shows you that your object is how far from that particular sensor that's why we are using here virtual terminal now let us move towards Proteus software so first we are coming to the program here as we discuss about the program echo pin and pin pin it is defined already so here it is the program we just need to verify this program and move towards Proteus software so for that you have to click on this button right button then it is verifying your functions if there is error it shows below here in red line so you just need to change your function here you can see now you just need to copy this link up to here dot hex file so we are going to copy this location now we just have to paste it on this Arduino board here you can see just we have to paste it down click ok so it is already loaded into this 8 mega 328 microcontroller similarly you have to add tep.hex file into this so here you can see it is already added ultrasonic tep.hex file then click on ok button now we are just going to run this program here you can see it shows the distance between this here we are using here variable resistance 
due to this it shows you 1 inch and 4 centimeter distance so we just need to change the value of this resistance so like this it can shows you distance between the because here we are using virtual software it is virtually added so we cannot use any object in front of this ultrasonic sensor that why, that's why we need to change this value here you can see minus that means decrease and here you can see this will be plus so like I am going to increase so here you can see 10 inches and 26 centimeters it is going to be increased again 17 inches and 44 centimeters so here you can see 21 inches 55 centimeters so like this we are using here potentiometer due to this you can identify the distance of object to the your sensor here you can see you can change the value of this resistance and measure the distance between your software and that particular object So, like this, you can interface this Arduino board with this ultrasonic sensor and you can identify the distance between your object and through your ultrasonic sensor. So, here you can see this is the interfacing with ultrasonic sensor with this Arduino board. So, we have discussed already about this program. So, here you can see the COM5 that is basically port serial monitor so it shows us 3 cm distance to this ultrasonic sensor like this so whenever we move this object so it senses the distance here we can see so object is moving now here you can see distance is increased like 8 centimeter more so it shows 12 centimeter here we can see so so it is moving so like this we can perform this ultrasonic sensor with this Arduino Uno here you can see the connection according to your program you have to connect this pin so pin number 2 and 3 which is trigger and echo pin red color is ground and here white color is 5 volt that means DCC that's it thank you so that's it for today's session thank you